welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I get ready to go out. For this look, I use three primers. My Nivea Post Shave Balm, um, the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer, and Benefit Matte Rescue Gel Primer. And then for my foundation, I used Maybelline Better Skin Foundation and the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And then I just lightened it a little bit with my Shade Adjusting Drops from the Body Shop. For my highlight, I used the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation in the color Classic Ivory. And then I used NYX Banana Powder to bake. And I'm getting a little bit better at this baking thing, so I think I'm going to try to start doing it a lot more in my videos just so I can practice. For my eyes, I'm using Revlon Color Stay Quad in, the, in number 515, Adventurous. And I love these little quads because they basically tell you where to put each color on your eye to get the best look out of it. And I usually like purples because purple brings out brown eyes. But I wanted something a little smokier, so this quad was perfect for that. And as you can see, there's a really pretty evergreen in the quad that I'm putting on my eyelid. So I'm just gonna let you watch, because basically all the eyes are is just putting colors on, blending, putting colors on, blending. And the eye look is completely based off the back of the quad. It tells you where to put everything. So I dusted off that banana powder that I used to set my highlight, and I went back into my eyes and deepened my crease a little bit with that super dark brown color in the palette. I did my eyeliner off camera, but I used e.l.f. gel liner with a flat angle brush. And then for my waterline, I'm using a Palladio Immortal Kajal eyeliner cream eyeliner that I bought from Sally's and then I'm just smoking out the bottom lash line with a little bit more of that green color now y'all know I love to contour so I'm using my Maybelline fit me stick in the color 355 coconut and I'm contouring in the normal places and then I'm just using a real technique sculpting brush to blend that out and the purpose of contouring, just in case you don't know, is to basically create a shadow where there wasn't a shadow before. And that creates depth to your face, because when you put on foundation, you basically make your face flat. So contouring brings back all the angles that you have in your face. To set my contour, I'm using my Ulta Powder Contour Kit. And I'm using the second to darkest shade to set my contour. And I'm also using it as a bronzer. And then, of course, you know I gotta do my highlights, so I'm using my Becca Cosmetics highlighter in Oval. And then I'm sharpening up my contour with some banana powder from NYX. And that's just a tip if maybe you go a little too ham with your bronzer, you just use some banana powder or translucent powder and put it right under your contour, and it will clean up that line give you some Maleficent light to you. For my lashes, I use NYX Big and Loud and Too Faced Better Than Sex. And that is my favorite eyelash combination of the moment. As you can see, my lashes are looking fun. And then the lipstick I used is NYX Liquid Suede in the color Vintage. And that's basically it, guys. This is the finished look. Pop on a wig, and I am ready to go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and if you want to see anything in particular, make sure you leave a comment down below. Bye, guys!